Alright, so we're on to World 2 now, and like the first level in the first world, this level is pretty much just go through it, it's pretty easy, pretty fast. It's not really any tricks, there's a couple of little shortcuts, but that's about it. This is also the level where if you were getting roll, you would also collect all the bottles in this level as well, as this is the level where you'd be getting the roll ability. Anyways, um, if you are getting roll, what you want to do is get these bottles, obviously. And for both routes, whether you're getting roll or not, you do not want to climb all the way to the top here because there's a cutscene once you get to this top. Instead, we're going to jump over the sides and just dodge the trigger. If you're getting roll, what you want to do is get on this rock and then jump over the wall and then get these and go across, get that, and go down there. If you are not getting roll, however, it's faster to just stay on the right side because, I mean, otherwise we're doing zigzags instead of straight lines. And there's two ways you can do it on, with this side. You, you can just grab onto the pipe, and get some extra height, and then go over. Or the faster method is to go on this rock and then jump over. And it's kind of tricky, I guess, just because of the camera, but it's not too bad of a jump. Anyways, uh, normally you would need to climb this pipe here and then ride these ninja spires, but they were pretty lo lazy with the level design, so you can just kind of <laughs> jump around the wall without any issue. If you're getting roll, you'd want to take this water path and it loops around and pretty much just some bottles that you get and it ends up back here again. But, oh my goodness. Otherwise, just keep pressing on. Like, just ignore all the bottles, obviously, if you aren't getting roll. There's more there. These rocks are really annoying. <laughs> They're just kind of weird with how you platform up them. As far as I'm aware, there isn't any way to skip this cutscene. I have looked extensively into, like, trying to find a way to dodge the trigger, but as far as I'm aware, there isn't any way to do it. A bottle on there, on top of the, at the edges of the phone pole, or whatever you want to call that. And two in the safe there. And if you're getting rolled, there's two bottles hidden here. Slightly out of view of the camera. Now this mattress is really weird, in that like, it kind of, the way it bounces you, like sometimes, like you can just bounce off it and go right into the last ninja spire there. That's really close to the edge up there. But sometimes it kind of bounces you kind of like that. Like it bounces you towards the first spire even though like you're holding away from it. So pretty much just like kind of delay your like delay pressing circle so you can get more distance towards this one. It's just a small time saver but yeah. Uh, if you're getting roll, there's a bottle down there that you want to drop down for. And then you just kind of jump around the car there and then get those ones over there in the corner. Now for both routes, you're going to want to get this horseshoe because we're going to be using it for another super jump later. There's two bottles here, by the way. These three bottles here are... Um, you're going to be getting these on the way back if you're getting roll because the safe is right there and we're going to be doing the same thing that we did in Wales where we exit to the hub world and then we go back into the level and come back this way and skip the cutscene and warp out instead of watching it and then especially for this level having to walk all the way back to the exit it saves a lot more time just to enter the hub world and then come back you'd also grab the horseshoe, there's a bottle there by the way but uh, you would also grab another horseshoe that spawns at the edge of the car because I mean it doesn't cost any time and it's quite handy. Now these lasers, um, they have a pretty decent amount of time. Like after you, if you step on them, usually you have a decent amount of time until they become like red and can actually damage you. So I mean, if you're right near the end, if it's really not like if it would save you time, then you might as well just, you can just land on them and not have to worry about dying. Otherwise, if they're flashing, then like if the floor panels are flashing like this, then 
it doesn't really affect it. Now there's a couple bottles behind that fence and those right there. The last ones are over there. And pretty much that's the end of the level. Obviously, as I said, if you're not getting rolled, just ignore all these bottles. Just run through. But I figured I should make note of where all these bottles are in case anyone just doesn't happen to know. <laughs> because some of them are kind of hidden by the camera and whatnot. But yeah, if you're not getting rolled, then this is the end of the level for you. Just go on through. And if you are, then you want to still exit through here. And pretty much the difference is that if you're getting roll, you want to go back into the trigger here and then go back to the safe. But otherwise, as soon as you, for both pretty much, I guess with the map warp with getting roll, it would do it automatically for you, just like in Wales. But if you're not getting roll, as soon as you get in the hub world here, you want to load warp to the middle, more towards the middle of the hub to save some footwork. And, um, yeah, there's also going to be a cutscene that will trigger as soon as you do that, but I'll, that'll be in the next part. But, yeah, stay tuned for some more heavy sequence breaks that are going to happen in this world as well.